You get to have that habanero taste to it, like that habanero. Okay. I hope everybody is having a wonderful, safe day. Um, I, I'm gonna start off all of these sort of like home versions of the videos, just kind of like talking to you guys about that real quick, just reiterating, like I hope you guys are being safe, um, being careful out there. And uh, um, I want you guys to do me a favor, leave a comment below about something positive that happened today. Because I think that there's a lot of negativity out there and it would be really nice to see sort of like the positivity and find the good in the bad. So this morning, I went for a walk with my son. It's absolutely beautiful outside. I skateboarded in the driveway and I went for a long run and I saw a house that had amazing flowers in front of it and I will put a picture of it right here. So, it was a beautiful day and I'm trying to focus on the positive. Now, on a sauce. So, we've got three sauces today from a company I have never had anything bought from them before and they look like they have great texture. They have varying ingredients, varying colors. I know nothing about them, so we're gonna be going in blind. My favorite way to be going into hot sauce. So we've got three sauces. This is by Fresco Sauce. Fresco Sauce is from Los Angeles, California. So this is their, they have a chipotle and habanero. They're saying that this is hot. So they got a little heat scale in the back of them, which is going to make, so we're gonna know what the, the order of operations is here. So this is their chipotle habanero. It's gonna be hot. They have their citrus fresno, which sounds super cool. And this is their medium sauce. Boom, medium. And then their hottest sauce, which is kind of, well, okay. It's ghost berry. And they're saying that this is on, and they're saying that this is on fire, so this is their hottest sauce, which makes sense because it's got ghost pepper in it. But it's a, it's probably a blueberry or some sort of dark fruit sauce, judging by clearly the color of it, um, which is going to be interesting to see uh, how they kind of approach that um, with such a sweet or with such a heat level. Okay, so we're clearly going to be starting with the the citrus Fresno, and so they're that's gluten free sauces. They're vegan sauces from Los Angeles, California. Let's see if it says anything about them. Okay, medium. It says experience an exceptional citrus flavor of lime and orange juice that finishes with a fruity taste of Fresno peppers. Fresno peppers are absolutely delicious, by the way. So I have very high hopes for this. It's perfectly paired with eggs, potatoes, tacos, shrimp, and more. That makes perfect sense. Um, okay, let's see here. Not a lot of ingredients, which is awesome. So Fresno peppers is the first ingredient, then orange juice, lime juice, onions, garlic, salt, olive oil, black pepper, distilled white vinegar, and water. So not a lot going on, just the way I like it. So it's got the easy kind of tear tab, but I'm gonna cut it anyways. This is super vibrant. Just like, look how vibrant this sauce is. Beautiful looking. Wow, I can smell the peppers. It's got like a, um, uh, like a, like a, like a, there's like a, a smell of almost like an Italian food scenario happening going on in here, which is kind of interesting because it's got Fresno, orange juice, lime juice. So maybe like the onions, the garlic, and the Fresno are mixing together and kind of making this like Italian vibe th situation. Yeah, definitely peppers. I'm not getting a ton of the smell from the, uh, or the aroma from the orange and the lime. It is a beautiful sauce with lots going on. Look at how freaking orange that sauce is. Wow. Okay. Uh, hey, cheers to you guys. Wow. Interesting. I will say that this is um, hotter than I thought it was going to be for a medium sauce. And also, it's a little bit higher on the sodium side. So it's got 95 milligrams of, milligrams of sodium in it. So make sure that if you're, this is a sauce that interests you, that you're okay with like a little bit higher of salt content, because that's what this is gonna have. Um, I will say delicious. Um, this is gonna be kind of like a topper. Like, like um, the, hmm, I'm saying this is more about like the onions and the garlic and the pepper situation. The, the orange juice and the lime juice are much more subtle for me in this. Um, I, I do I do like it. Um, but for me, this is gonna be, like, I'm gonna build a sauce with this. Like I can see this working really well, like I said before, like with Italian food. I think it's got like something going on there or like the type of taco, you know, like uh, uh, carnitas would be really, really nice with this. Uh, something a little bit heavier though. Like, you're gonna have a little bit of fat 
that the sauce is going to cut. Um, it's great. Very nice. Okay, moving on. These sauces are going to be hot. Spoiler. Because for a medium sauce, that was pretty hot. All right, this is their chipotle habanero. A garlicky blend of chipotle and orange habanero peppers with a hint of sweetness. Uh, this is your everyday hot sauce that you can use on everything. Uh, ingredients are habanero peppers, chipotle chili powder, carrots, uh, distilled white vinegar, olive oil, garlic salt, organic sugar, black pepper, and water. So habanero peppers, number one ingredient. So I'm expecting it to have that habanero taste to it, like that habanero fruity flavors. There's Freddy jumping in again, coming from the back. Uh, and then there's probably going to be some sort of savory notes, probably from the hot, from the, well, sorry, from the chipotle, some smokiness going on there. And then the body is definitely going to be coming from those carrots and a little bit of sweetness as well. Uh, and also the olive oil. Interesting. I'm wondering, okay, so uh, sodium is 55 milligrams on this, so it's going to be, a, should be a lot, le a lot lower on the sodium on this one. Ooh, it has a pop to it. I will say all these sauces have a beautiful color to them and a very, very, um, Welcome texture, at least in my book. Uh, I'm hoping the, the habanero flavor comes across in this because uh, you know I love habaneros. Great flavor. Mm. This has got this like creamy quality that from the olive oil that's coming across. Cheers. See, to me, this is much more mild than this. Even though the habanero takes a second to kind of kick in, I think this is much hotter. Interesting. This has got like a creamy kind of quality to it. Um, it's, um, it's got a little hint of the smokiness and savoriness from it. I do taste the habanero, but it's not like punching in the face. It's kind of like more subtle. I might be slightly blown out on the heat scale from this first one, because this first one is hotter than I thought it was going to be. Um, a little bit of sweetness from the carrots, a little bit of sweetness from the, uh, oh, there's no onion in here. I thought there was. Sorry. So all that sweetness is coming from the carrots and a little bit of that sugar, too. Uh, interesting. This is another one that is going to be like a, a topper. Uh, I can see it's working on like pasta dishes um, and then like shrimp, like grilled shrimp. It would be really nice, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right. This, this is a great sauce, but I would definitely say, they're saying this is hot. I would definitely put this more on the medium and then this on the hotter side for sure. All right, moving on to the third and final sauce. I'm assuming this is going to be a dessert style sauce or um, maybe it's supposed to be something like a topper for like uh, pork or something like that. You know, people like to do uh, fruits with white meats like pork, chicken, roast chicken, that kind of stuff, white fish. Um, or it could go to the dessert route. We'll see though. So they say this is on fire. This is the ghost berry sauce. Is there multiple berries? Is it just blueberries? We'll find out. Uh, Ghostberry is a fabulous hot sauce with beautiful color and texture. Um, you can taste a combination of sourness and sweetness and spiciness along with cranberry and blackberry flavors. It's great on seafood, grilled fish, red meats, and tacos. So I was kind of there. Um, I could see this, uh, if, if, they're, if they're saying that this is good on seafood and grilled fish, I could also see this working on, um, on chicken and pork. I feel like the contrast of white meat and, um, and dark fruit really works well, at least in my opinion. Uh, ingredients are ghost peppers. Number one ingredient is ghost peppers. This guy's gonna be hot. Uh, blackberries, cranberry juice, habanero peppers. So he's gonna get he's gonna get that internal burn from the ghost peppers, and then that like stinginess from the habanero. Uh, distilled white vinegar, garlic, salt, black pepper, cumin, and water. Interesting. And now the sodium is 80 milligrams of sodium on this one as well. So this might be more on the uh, high on the sodium side, but we'll see. Uh, I'm I'm definitely intrigued. I don't really know which way he's trying to go with this. This is definitely gonna be more. He's not going with the dessert route, so he's definitely so he's going the more the more savory situation. So habanero distilled, so the garlic, salt, black pepper, cumin, that, that might that's gonna have to really kind of kick in. But the I guess blackberries and cranberries are kind of more of a of a muted, not like they're more of a they're not like a punch you in the face flavor. I guess I don't know. Blackberries are pretty hot. We're gonna find out. See, I was kind of expecting this to be a little bit of a thicker sauce, I'm not gonna lie. It pours, it's very, um, it's a loose, it's a thinner sauce, for sure. I was kind of expecting a little bit more body to it. Um, but still, it's got, it's, it's got some going on. Lots floating in it. I can see like flecks of um, black pepper, it looks like, and 
Um, maybe the blackberry skins, things like that, were going on. Wow, there's a lot of citrus on aroma on this guy. Mm, there's only something savory though in here. Maybe, oh, it's the habanero is what I'm getting. A little bit of habanero. I'm not smelling the ghost pepper at all. All right, cheers to you guys. Again, um, it's a little bit higher on the sodium side than I thought it was going to be. Um, that's what I'm getting number first. Uh, first, I'm getting the sodium, the saltiness to it. And then after that, I'm getting the heat and a little bit of fruit. So it's got like, ghost peppers. I will say that like the, the blackberries and the cranberry juice are a little bit more muted than I thought they were going to be. Um, but it's definitely bringing the heat. Um, it's definitely hotter than the first sauce, nowhere near, um, much hotter than the second sauce. Um, but it's good. Um, I could see, I, I'm, agreeing, I, I'm agreeing with them. I think this would work really well with grilled foods. You have a topper or like a dipping sauce or something like this. I can see it's working well with, um, with cheese. Um, sort of, uh, some cheeses don't, that, like maybe some like funky cheeses or something that doesn't have like a lot of like sodium going on with it already that kind of needs a little bump. Um, could be really good. So, uh, three interesting sauces from Fresco Sauce. Um, I have, this is a new sauce company. I've never heard of them before. Um, but very interesting sauces. Out of the three, I enjoyed this one the most. It is the most mild one, but it has a beautiful, beautiful texture to it, creaminess to it. Um, you could use it, also use this in like sandwiches, I could see, like using this as like a sandwich condiment. I think it would be really nice. Um, but all three of them are delicious. I will say that, um, just make note that, that these two sauces are just a little bit higher on the sodium side, so just make sure that you're a person that really um, uh, wants something like that. Uh, I'm definitely a person who enjoys a lot of salt, so it doesn't necessarily bother me, but I can see it bothering some people. So just a heads up there. Uh, regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.